one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine of them. See how many straps we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine straps. But I got some straps on the other side. I'm gonna use those to hold it down with those, those ones on the other side. That strap out, take that strap out, move it up front too. See, I got I got coil racks on the front and back, and if you seen on that on that time lapse, the reason why the reason why I changed the changed the short ones from the from the long ones, cause when that guy pulled up, I see the sign now. If you see it right there, no climbing on the trailers, which I did I didn't know that, cause the people at the guard shack didn't tell me. I didn't know that, so he was like, you got to use the long boards where you don't gotta climb on the trailer to set the coil racks up. So let's... We're gonna come back and tighten these later. Ooh. I almost made a mistake. Tighten them down just so they don't flap in the wind.
we're gonna do next, gang. Y'all ever did slinkies? This ain't the first time I did them. First time I did a point of view. We're getting, we're uh, securing them. All right. So everybody got their own way of doing it. I got my own way as well. set up all about set up basically we're going to connect the two of them together basically something like that and i and i found it easier to do all of them from the same direction it makes it a lot easier on yourself start at the same point on each one so we're going to throw it through here then we're going to throw it back around here and throw it back around again that's why I brought the strap all the way out. And once I get on this side, I'm going to bring it out some more. All the way out. All the way. All the way. All the way out. Hey, shit. What they call it? What they call it? Deep stroke. camera coming today I didn't even know I was getting this load Count it. We got some extra ones. Look like I didn't even need to use ones on the other side. Just in time. All these damn DT freight trucks pulling up. DT freight. Ah. 
PNS affiliate. When I got here, I went straight and straight and got loaded. These guys, it's probably like three, four trucks in front of me. Well, behind me. Waiting in line. Same thing over here, start from the front. That's how we keep it simple. Start from the front. That way we know where everything at. Start from the front. See all these straps? All of them gotta go right back across. back across start from the front work your way back
gonna get all the twist out. Just try to get as much out as you can. You ain't gonna get all of them. Especially with the wind, you see that wind blowing? We're gonna try to get as many of them out as we can. We got throw it right back across again. Start from the front. Keep it organized. Keep that shit organized. This one ain't long enough. I already see.
Yok mu? But we knew that already. We knew that already.
the other side tighten up the ones that's holding it down in the front and back tighten this down too to a boss man ain't nothing to a boss Let's see how long that took 36 36 minutes that's how long that took to secure that so the video might be 36 minutes <sighs> man this load is going to Kings George Kings George Virginia See how far that is. Kings George. I put the zip code in. Six hours to get there. 
Cause I actually got an option on this load. I got an option to drop it off tomorrow or Monday. It's up. It's up to me. It's up to me if I drop it. If I drop it tomorrow, it's up to me. But if I drop it tomorrow, it's gonna take me. It's gonna take about six hours off my clock to drive up there. And so I wouldn't get there till around one o'clock in the afternoon, maybe a little later. So the chances are reload out of that area are pretty slim. Cause that, that puts you in the Richmond area, Richmond, Virginia area. Richmond, Lynchburg, Petersburg. So those places probably wouldn't get a reload. So I probably would end up deadheaded home. Cause I wouldn't sit up there the whole weekend. Hey, I never been to this CMC in Jacksonville, man. But they give you this uh safety zone. So the forklift driver knows where you at. I guess in case it gets too close. I gotta turn it in when I when I go back up there. Go ahead and do that now instead of running my damn mouth. But hey, I ain't worried about it. I already know. I'm dropping this load Monday. I ain't dropping it anymore. So I'll be home tomorrow, uh, early, like before lunchtime tomorrow. I gotta handle some business anyway. I gotta go to the bank, get some checks. I gotta get a, a certified check so I can uh, send it to the IRS. Hey, I'm sending, I'm sending the IRS their own money back. The money that I got from the Paycheck Protection Program, I'm sending it right back to them. I'm sending the IRS their own money. <laughs> oh man, ain't that ain't that something? They gave it to me. I'm giving it right back. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to pay my taxes with. I owe some taxes that I gotta pay. And it feels good to pay it with their money instead of my money. It feels good. <laughs> now I can keep my money in my pocket. So yeah, I want to get a. I want to go get a certified check or a money order from the bank. A cashier's check, that's what it is. I don't want to write a personal check. Because when you write a personal check, it takes it takes too long to come out your account. It takes, like I sent a check off North Carolina a couple weeks ago. I sent it off about a month ago. And they finally, finally took it out. And I actually called. I was like, hey, I sent y'all the check. I was like, I was like, it ain't been cashed yet. I just want to make sure y'all got it. And the lady pulled it up in the system. She was like, yeah, yeah, we haven't processed it yet. I was like, oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure y'all got it. You know, I ain't want to get no damn, I don't need no damn penalty. A little later to my, oh, well, you didn't you didn't send the money on time and we didn't get it. I was like, yeah, I sent it on time. But I want to make sure y'all got it. So I'm gonna go get a damn cashier's check where, it, where it's coming, where I know it's out my account. If anything happened to that check, the bank, the bank can trace it down. But long story short, after I called the uh, North Carolina Department of Revenue, the lady told me that they they hadn't reprocessed it yet. So she was like, uh, she was like, you know, uh, for future reference, you know, you could pay with a debit card or, or pay online. I was like, oh, okay. I like my accountant told me to send a check. And I was like, well, what if I just go ahead and pay right now and y'all, you know, cancel the check? And she was like, no, just just wait and see if it goes through. Finally, it went through. Hey, man. Hey, hey, businessman shit I'm talking right there, man. Businessman shit. Woo. Let me go in here and check in. I'll catch y'all later, man. Flatbed gang.